Oh god. Hello everyone. Welcome to Dong and Rampa 2. Goodbye despair. So, last time we left off talking starting our conversations with everyone. We talked to a very short uh, traditional dancer who's got an attitude. A very a somewhat a or the ultimate gymnastics Akane. T uh, screaming man Nekumaru. Uh, a gangs a a hair of a gangster uh, club, I guess. Who's got the baby face, and he can't touch me. Um, and now, and we also got uh, Nagito, kind of like helping us out, leading us, leading us out of the way for our deal. So yeah, oh, I forgot to start my thing. Shit. All right. Um, I started recording, but yeah, I forgot the time. All right. Anyways, so yeah, now we're going to talk to this lass, so let's do it. <laughs> okay, then. Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know. At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. You're right. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Nice. Ultimate photographer. Nice. If anyone says photographer, you're getting punched in the face. <laughs> Maharu is known as the ultimate photographer. She has, a, she has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I, hear she, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Hmm? Decent? Well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or, like, just insane. We need to get along with everyone so we can get off this island. But I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? You don't know. That was what the stuff animal Usami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earned by getting along with everyone, this joke of a school trip will be over and we can all live this to the island together. <laughs> That's all we have to do when we can go home? Is that true? Did you really, <coughs> Did you really mean that? Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Well, Hajime, now that you notice, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to live this, live, leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so, what's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all that effort of bringing us here so we can l all live together and get along? It doesn't make any sense. What does it all mean? I'm using the wrong voice again. I mean, I know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal. Really? We've been told on a school trip without any warning. Then we're taken to a place like this? And then we're told to forget about Hope Speak Academy? Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Eh? Eh, me? What about your introduction? I've been waiting, like, forever, you know? Ah, oh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you, too. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. I already like this girl. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. I see you whipped already, Hajime. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Nice. The hotel's old building. Obviously, now I'm going to check the map. See where everyone's at. Yeah. Interesting. Is, so there's people in that one and that one. Fuck. Uh, it's our God. Where am I going? <laughs> I had to press it twice. All right. 
So I gotta go to this one. I dropped my controller. And by the way, I am using mouse and keyboard. Because like, I can f like flick it fast. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand too. If this was if this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. Fucking idiot. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept. It seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? It's like to you. Um... Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? An introduction. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. Peko Pekoyama. Well, I better not make full. I'm glad she doesn't exist either. Ultimate Swordswoman. Nice. You know what? That armband, you know like how Taka had one in the first one, how she has one? I always get Persona 3 out of it, because, you know, they had the armbands to, you know, state that they were part of a group to kill the shadows. Yeah. This dignified looking woman is known as the Ultimate Swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Pico Picoyama could be so skilled of a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master, and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I prefer not to kill anyone. Kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a, miss a missing blow can be fatal. Well, an aim flow can be failed, too. Wouldn't it? You know? Generally speaking, does it make more sense if, like, a blow unintentional does more than a blow that is intentional? Makes you wonder. I'll keep that in mind. Level up. Alright. There's some girl playing an arcade game. She looks completely absorbed by it. So, by obviousness, I've seen this girl too. You haven't probably introduced yourself to her either, right? Y yeah, you're right. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should talk, try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. <laughs> Chiaki! Oh, sorry. I must have been a little... Too focused on my game. A little? Are you sure about that? God damn it! Son of a bitch! Nice. Oh. Crap. It's going on auto. Because the controller is connected into. That's kind of. Yeah, annoying. No, I just want to not go on autoplay. Yeah, she says she was an ultimate gamer, so... Yeah. Ultimate gamer. Yeah, everyone's fan favorite girl in the series. Majimi and Nada, nice to meet you too. Yeah, totally. How do I turn auto off? Because I didn't mean to... Turn it on. I don't know. It's basically... Okay. It seems like this conversation is going very slow. Well, she is gaming right now. It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to get in my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play games like this? How can she play video games at a time like this? 
Wow, this certainly made an impression for everyone. That's sleepy. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna go to stairs. So this is the hotel restaurant. It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. It kind of has this tropical, open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island? Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Do you seriously have a nosebleed? Thinking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Uh, Poison! I see! Hey, do you guys have a moment? Whoa! Denied! Denied? Hello! It is nice to meet you! Hello! My name is Hajime Hanada! Nice to meet you too! Why, hello there! <laughs> Why, hello there! You must be the new guy! Awesome. I'm going to tick this guy off so badly. Ultimate Coke. Cook. I'm sorry, but the color palettes here are not that good. Like, it's just light. Like, it's like light glitchy. Like, it's trying to be light camo and glitchy. And that just does not work compared to the first game where it was, like, more so colorful and stuff. <laughs> I hope we get all. I hope we get all along well. Oh, that reminds me. I have not properly introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. Either she's American or she's British. Ultimate Princess. She's British! I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Navaselic. Okay, she's Navas... She's Navasa. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. Same here. I hope we can get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actual royalty. The ultimate princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... <clears throat> it's not just her beauty, she's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease even though she's a real princess. This may be rude of me to say, but truthfully... <coughs> but truthfully, I feel happy. <clears throat> huh? What are you happy about? In my home country, I did not have a single friend my age who's standing in society match my own. So to be able to do something like this, everyone is a new experience for me. I shall extol your virtues. Extol my virtues? The thanks. What the? I son I feel suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Awesome. Hey, you three. Am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's not it. Oh, Taru Taru! It's so like you. Ch 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 it's so like you to check out the restaurant first as the ultimate chef. Do you like it? <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully... Yeah, I like it. Though, I like the big city flavor in my hometown. Uh, a country... Uh, atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you... Refined, cultured, gutsy as charged? No, no, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What is there to worry about, actually? I'm very happy. I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick. I was sneaking suspicious that Miss Pico is actually a bit of a freak, if you catch my meaning. What What do you think? What? She's probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts on that? This is the Hifumi. <clears throat> now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on, come on! No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem un unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princes are groomed to like common sense, right? For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Pardon me, 
What are you talking about? <coughs> we'll discuss this later. I better not try. I better not see you try that again. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. When it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Everyone knows to kill him. <laughs> Where would you like to go? Outside. Let us leave the place. Oh, I have to go to the gate. Alright. Obviously there's more. Let's check the map. But yeah, I definitely liked it a lot more. So, the airport, the rock punch market, the r well, we got through the ranch and we got to the hotel site. So we just have these two, and then supposedly the last one should be interesting to meet, considering we know him. Let's go to the Rocket Punch Market. So this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island. Does that mean we're in an international waters? Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessi necessities for a while. For a while? It's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? Hmm. You certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around. We're in this giant supermarket, and there's nobody here else here except us. Well... That can't be helped. Didn't you somebody say this island is in, in, uninhabited? That's exactly my point. Ugh! It's nothing. Um. Uh, she's staring at me funny! Uh, um, 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 you know. Is this like the ch the ch ch hero? Well, why is he crying? Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. Oh my fucking god. I've. Dude. <sighs> you know, I'm gonna take a photo of this. Because I. Um, I've seen this. Or, no, I've seen this line before. Because it was recommended on my YouTube. I didn't click on the video, obviously, but yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Bullying a girl? Not cool, Hajime. I didn't do anything. Ah, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Uh, of course. I don't mind. Re I don't mind you remembering it, but. Ultimate nurse. Interesting. Um, you know... Um... Uh, my mind is drawn a blank, blank from nervousness! And I went through all the trouble preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss that during introductions! That seems excessive. It's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. Huh? Ah! Is he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... what? What's your deal? Ah, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. Ah, oh, she's so happy from that. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just, just, I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Uh, not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. You know, she's definitely more like, what's the word? She's like more hard on herself than Tiny Hands is. Because like, Tiny Hands was like, she was hard on herself, 
but she would always fight back. But even then, like, you, in the end, you felt really sorry for Tiny Hands. Like, a split personality that goes killing, bullying, like, it was really rough on her. Definitely gained a lot on me when, you know, I learned more about her. But yeah, you got might be interesting. I don't need to say, just please don't hate me. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Level up. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I'm gonna have that stuck in my head now. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> oh, hi. Who are you? Me. Be careful. Hey, Luna. Be careful, Luna. I got a, we got a new dog since I was gone. I'll play the video. Yes. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Ah, that's right. Introductions are go go. I love her already. Uh, ultimate musician. Ah, oh, nice. I hope she li lives longer than 10 seconds. Alright, introduction not finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta, oh, melons! What the fuck? <laughs> I love it. I actually, you know what? Awesome. This, this is alright. I'm already having a good time. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and people from Ubari would shop here. Man, I'm getting hella stoked! I'm pretty much flavors of stoked for all this deliciousness. And when I'm excited, I get hungry mongry. I don't understand myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? The human body sure is a mystery. Um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently, their hit single, After School Poyo Yan Hour, sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Are you interested? <coughs> what? You could hear me? Duh! I book is a musician after all! Like Sugar, Fuck, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Sinner. I, too, am an awesome musician. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of the people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. Like, Van Gogh is a painter, I'm pretty sure, who cut his ear off. Hey. Don't sweat the details. Alrighty. Uh, girl, I like. Leave here? Yeah. And I mean, I'm already, I already really like the fucking troll behind me. Who's not only very helpful, but very asshole. <laughs> as holish, as they would say. Airport. We just have to climb the fence for this one. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes? What do they look like, dumbass? Couldn't we just use those planes to escape this island? <laughs> nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them. But it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? Has also done that. Right? You know what? <clears throat> this guy must be the ultimate engineer. Or, like, I think I've already gotten that hat. The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal. Usami. But who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. Oh yeah! That reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? I was close. Yeah, ultimate. 
Ultimate Engineer is somewhat close to Mechanic. Well, Mechanic Engineer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but like, you know, yeah. I love this dude's pink hair, dude. As expected from someone called the Ultimate Mechanic, Kazuchi Kazuchi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix his plane, it's truly beyond repair. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's, whoever's keeping us must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty strange. But I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. That was mentioned in the safety precautions of the Florida school chip. Remember? The school chip guidelines written in the e-handbook? This game definitely starts off longer than Dong Marble 1. Like, you n met about each other, and then you got onto the ki to the craziness. Dream violence is prohibited on the island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Be considerate of each other and work together to uh, obtain whole fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. You know, I can't hear prosperity with that goddamn robot in Caribbean Planet Robobot who is basically a genocidal machine. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made that any student violates a rule. Interesting. It looks like we're being kept safe, so I wouldn't this be like any other school trip. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope, just as Usami said earlier. Seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe... Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at the situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people who to live satisfied lives. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute! I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. Optimism. That makes sense. Also, I did not check the airplanes. I didn't really... To go so as far as to remove complete... To completely remove the complete... Do you want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Anyways, Gundam Tanaka. Shit, I just said his name. Okay. Stop right there if you value your life. Do not come any closer. Huh? Hmm. I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. W what's this guy talking about? Would you like to know my name? I may see your courage as recklessness. However, I will commit. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. Watch him, like, just totally go to, like, a much more, like, lighter voice. Ultimate Breeder. World this world. He's getting right. He's actually serious. That's pretty out there. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Eh? Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! Huh? What do you mean, pact? Answer me now. Thou I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then it's best if I don't answer. I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? Ah, uh, no. The only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Damn. I mean, Makoto even had a dog, so, you know. So, a mere insect? <sighs> Ha! Your magic essence caps at a lowly five. Trash. T trash, really? Hmm. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overload of eyes. What if he just like goes to like a you know lower the like he goes to like a lower the coward voice. Oh, hold on a minute. Something just strange came out of your scarf. 
Taming evil by using myself as a bed? Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire! It's like something you see on a natural show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. One of my four dark devas of destruction, Marash Goldenhawk Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You won't like us when we're angry. Fuhahaha. <laughs> I would like this guy so much if his voice was different. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I heard he can tame any animal and even managed to succeed at pro proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. That's meant for linguistics, and I don't think you have linguistics. Speak of animals, well, he's certainly an eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. Leave here. Let's get to the finale, idea. I think. Or we need to talk with the last person. Oh, wow, it just loops. Okay, well then. Let's check our map. Yeah, that's that's him. It looks like if we can go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? That's what we're going to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? Central Island. Oh, that seems locked. Ah, oh, these must be okay. So, this is a park. A park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> it feels so nice. Such a laid-back attitude. But if we were in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing by myself. If being the keyword. How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you about your another feature. You may have already noticed, but you have a level assigned to you. It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions, such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you will become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. This is interesting because the way to level up was to talk with everyone in your. or in. like, was to do free time events with everyone in your group in the, in the Dong Rap 1. But that was the only way you could level up. No matter what, you could not level up otherwise. I think. I could be wrong, but yeah, you had to talk with in free time events. Well, let's talk with Fat Man! Or the boy who cried wolf. This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Ah, Becca! Have time for a small introduction? Introduction? Come on, Hajime! Um, hello. My name is Hajime Hanada. Yes, you're the ultimate affluent progeny. Exactly. I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. I, I can tell this guy is swimming his nose at me. Well, I suppose that back up for you. What do you mean? That guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. Only to be eventually shut down by a detective and what would I assume become more special known as the ultimate hope. I could be wrong though. He's already begun managing the business operations and his net worth is, well, enormous. It's completely accurate to call him the, affluent, the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. 
You there, Hodgman, was it? Eh? Tell me, why did Hope's Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, the thing is, I honestly can't remember. You don't remember? God, you remember this girl who wouldn't tell me anything. And, he'd, and she would always be defended by this one dude. Apparently he's lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. <laughs> How foolish. <laughs> um, I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you tend to stand there? Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. Wasn't this guy eventually very skinny? Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? Ding dong, bing bong! Was that a school bell just now? Hajime, look at that monitor over there. That's like the end of the game. That's it. She said to meet at the beach. Is that gonna be? O is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. All right, let's go to the beach. Beach. Obviously, I'm gonna be lost. So. It'd be better, so let's check the map. Yeah. So, there. We're just gonna teleport. For now. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dealing dallying for? Sorry to keep you all waiting. Well, it's all right. More importantly, this is the only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's talk! <coughs> now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. I happen to notice numerous blocked up bridges on the central island. Oh, those are so, those are there so everybody doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them, and that rabbit showed me, and showed up, and told me to. So I'm telling the truth. So we don't get lost. Is this island really that big? But if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but. Also, there's a big ranch. There's also a large supermarket too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living enemies. The hotel was really nice too. It'd be great if we can get if we can stay there. The restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to more and more plebeian taste. Can you guys listen to what I want to say too? I found something very important on this island. Girls, very very cute girls, aha, <laughs> all over the place. Gross! I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, your fuels! I even can't believe them. The way I mentioned the most serious truth. The most serious truth? If no one here has realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. What did you say, you fat bastard? Don't be talking all big and shit! Small dogs shouldn't spark so loud. The most serious truth? What does he mean? Well, let's talk to Becca. Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did, did you find something out about this island? Have you, gone, have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? 
When I saw, I remembered a story I heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Eh? That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could this island be Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this I is that the name of this island? Still, there's something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already never mind. Hold it right there. That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. No need to shout. I'll let you know when I've obtained more information. Sorry, I'm typing something on it. Alright, sorry for that. I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island, or Papua Island, or whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we all gotta live here, right? Let me to get on this tropical island sure is exciting! I'm super looking forward to it! Right on! This ain't a bad school at all! Hey, you guys? Hmm, I like this island too! Can't say the same, the rest of you cretins! Did I hear something? I'm still worried. I'm still worried, but don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope's Peak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead? No matter what, it's completely weird! Why don't you just... Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Eh? If we, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we. That guy forgot the voice. There's no ship, and the planes are just for show. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Then why don't we just swim home? Like we could fucking do that. There's no way we can swim that far. I'm telling you, that's impossible. Then what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? Nah, you can't do that. That's the biggest of no-nos. Please recall the guidelines of the school trip. Litter is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and from that mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger. To the word of danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For as long as we don't do any room here, it seems there is no danger. And as long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that? There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. Anyone who saw me, was this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? 
Oh, that's right. Well, of course, I didn't forget. Love, love, this is it. This thing you built from Dongarapa 1, you piece of shit. Don't be upset. I prepared one for you all, so don't worry. What is this? P it's a zombie strap. You squeeze the tummy, it talks. Milk's not very sweet. He's gonna kill. Love, love. What a waste of time. Man, I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. Really? I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. Well, Sammy, well, Sammy does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a number, a large amount of Sammy strips on the beach anyway. As I figure, every, everybody received their strap. They just tossed them on the beach. Hey, you got a nature of trash. See, even you think they're trash. Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. Oh, I remember prepared one more present, too, but now I don't really want to give it to you, bad kiss. Mm -hmm. You have something else? Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? Execution! That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. We've come all this way to the tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something chop something island themed. Like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? Correct! Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Excuse me, Miss Sonia. My loins are still full of poison, and I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Knock it off, Teru Teru. Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha! Ugh, God. Alright, next time on Dong and Rapa 2, we will continue on this journey, and then we will see what happens next. Thank you all so much for coming by to this lovely day. Um, Archaeox's lovely bunker. Peace, peeps.